We have been telling you about the eerie tarantula migration happening right now near La Junta. The local tourism board says State Highway 109 south of town on the Comanche National Grassland is really the best place to see them in the morning or right around sunset. Well, just yesterday, Governor Jared Polis took his family to La Junta to see the spiders, shared these photos on Facebook and Twitter. But Jamie Leary talked to an expert who says those migrating tarantulas might be harder to spot than previous years. It's a common misconception that these guys are dangerous, but unless you're a cricket, that could not be further from the truth. This is a rose hair tarantula. Her name's Machi, and she is 40 years old. She's not the same species you're going to find in La Junta, for instance, the Oklahoma brown, but this is as old as some of these females can get. While there weren't as many males mating this year, there are a lot of people behind the scenes trying to make sure that all of these species survive. People have a really hard time with spiders. They may look frightening, but my home swears they're almost like dogs. Poodles are known for being like aloof and intelligent. Labradors like everybody, right? It's kind of like that with tarantulas. This is an Oklahoma brown that just arrived from the Junta. Mai is the director of the CSU Bug Zoo, and this year she decided to mate this one with a few found in the Junta. Every year they have this amazing thing. We call it a walkabout. But this year you won't see nearly as many walking. When they start doing their walkabout, they're anywhere from like 7 to 12 years old. And about seven years ago, it was 2012, when we had extreme heat. Luckily, a few made it, and at least two Oklahoma Browns in this zoo will reproduce. But in the wild... And it takes about seven minutes to mate. Yeah. And then they part ways, and then he'll either go try finding another female, or sometimes if she's hungry, she'll eat them. It's <laughs> development threatening the Oklahoma Brown. There used to be hundreds of thousands. She believes the spiders will return in full force. We've had a bunch of rain this year, right? So in seven years, it might be a huge tar tarantula year. Which... It's a long time to wait, but Maya is devoted to making sure these spiders thrive. There's even more to discover about them. These female Oklahoma browns are from La Junta, and they made it just a few days ago. Once they have babies, it can be up to 1,000 each. CSU plans to re-release them back into the wild. In Fort Collins, Jamie Leary covering Colorado Furs. It's pretty fascinating. Thanks, Jamie.